Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Smart Art Tutorial Series, you will learn how to go beyond the usual or default style of Smart Art. There is no doubt that Smart Art is a very useful tool for business presenters. However, the diagrams are so overused that sometimes they look very cliched. In this tutorial, you will learn how to make them different so your slides look fresh even though you use smart art style diagrams. For in this, we will try to convert this text based process slide into this interesting diagram. This diagram which we will use for demonstration is called as step up process diagram. You use this diagram whenever you want to visualize a process which has multiple stages which build on each other. The setup of the text for the diagram is fairly simple. You just list down the various stages in the process and then you go about converting it into a diagram. Let us do that. First, let us select all the text here. Right click, go to convert to smart art option, ignore the default options and go to more smart art graphics. There we go and uh, the one that we want is under process and here you have step up process diagram click on it and press ok as soon as you press ok you, you will see that all these steps in the process arrange themselves automatically into the diagram now we will try to improve this diagram a bit we will select this and go to change colors option and we will choose this option called as colorful accent colors we choose this particular type of diagram, uh, type of uh, colors because we want to ensure that each of the steps is distinct. Now we can make this diagram look even better by adding some style. So we can use any of these styles here and as you can see as I make changes here you can see the preview. Um, we can add a bit of character to the diagram by um, giving it some kind of sheen here. Maybe yeah this one looks interesting now our diagram looks much better than the plain one we can take this diagram to the next level by playing on the theme of distinct steps so what we're going to do is I'm going to choose this rectangle tool from rectangles auto shape and I'm going to draw a box that extends all the way to the bottom of the slide. Now I'm going to hold control key while I make a copy and move this. When I hold control key and move the shape automatically a copy is created and I'm going to continue the same here for the rest of the rest of the steps as well and all the boxes are going to extend all the way till the bottom edge so we have some sort of uh, continuity in design. And once we do this, we select all these, remove shape outline and send to back. Now we are going to extend the color scheme here. So I am going to use a very light color for shape fill, which is red here. And this one is purple color and I am going to use a purple theme and this one an orange theme, this one a green theme and this one aqua theme so there we go we now have emphasized the fact that each of these steps is clearly distinct and once you have this in place you can use these colors as color codes to elaborate on the various stages of the process for example whenever you elaborate on stage one of the process which is about defining problem the slides that you elaborate can have a red rectangular strip running at the bottom for example the color of this light can have this red color and if you are going to talk about stage 2 then the same strip can convert into a purple color and so on so your audience will be able to clearly understand that the slides that you are using are um, I mean denote different stages of the process anyway taking that aside we will remove that 
If you want to emphasize the increasing trend of the process, you can use an arrow. So I'm going to go to block arrows and choose this arrow called as right arrow. Let me draw an arrow here and give it a non-obtrusive color. Maybe this gray would be good enough. Remove outline and I'm going to change the direction a little bit more. So it, it kind of uh, emphasizes the upward trend. I can add some human element to the diagram by adding a silhouette of a businessman running up the uh, various steps. So I can go to insert pictures and choose a silhouette here. Maybe I can place him here. If I want to still add some more meaning to this diagram, I can write a text called goal. So G O A L here and maybe I can use a bolder font like Arial block black and I can keep it here so this way it will look like this businessman is running towards the goal and the various steps here help him in achieving the goal if you were to compare this diagram to the plain version here you can see the improvement and it is these improvements that make your slides look very distinct if you want your slides to look even more distinct then we recommend you take a look at our PowerPoint CEO Packs Volume 1 and 2. These are some example templates taken from our PowerPoint Charts and Diagram Templates Packs for CEOs. Here you talk about the various steps that lead to the goal. And this is another example. Here we play on the metaphor of corporate ladder. And here is another example which uses steps, the three steps that take us to our objective and here you can elaborate on the three steps of course in all these diagram templates you can add or remove the number of steps by just copying or deleting the elements on the slide so as a business presenter you save a lot of time and effort when you use off-the-shelf solutions like powerpoint ceo packs all you need to do is to select the template that matches your thought Replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. It is a very efficient and quick way to make professional looking slides. Hope you like the tutorial. If you want to learn more such tutorials, please visit us at presentationprocess.com. And by the way, whenever you use SmartArt, make sure that you don't settle for the usual stuff or the usual style. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.